What's good, everybody? How y'all doing out there? As you guys can see, I am in my truck, or I should say I'm in me and my son's truck, you know, because when I'm not here, he drives it, so, or I should say it's his truck, and I just pay for it, you know, but I am on my way back over to the truck, and uh, getting ready to head out this morning, I have a, uh, I have a load that needs to be picked up at around one o'clock this evening so i still got some time to spend with my family i really do and this weekend which was a real awesome time with the family but now it's time to get back to work and time to get back to lockout men makes the call so thanks guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like what you're watching, make sure you give it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to keep up with me with uh with this video series. Last week's call was to MB Logistics. Um young uh young lady named Crystal gave some very good information about MB Logistics. Even though she was a rookie, she still she still was able to answer the questions that I asked her. And um, and being a rookie there, you know, she's she's learning. So thank you, Crystal, for all the information that you have given to me and my subscribers out here. All right. So next up, we're gonna make a call to Snyder. <laughs> this is a uh subscriber request call by the way it's right there if you guys can see it uh he requested that i give snyder a call but i i want to tell you i want to tell you uh i want to tell you subscriber um i'm sorry actually snyder was the very first call that i have made uh to start this video series and i am just now getting around to editing it and getting it uh getting it posted for you guys to watch let me give you a little bit of background about snyder snyder i well i already called snyder uh once before actually i got i got set up with snyder i i really did uh before i took the position with uh j and r swoogle um Snyder offered me uh, a position with them and I was ready to go out to their orientation um but J and R Swoogle came around and offered their position and I decided to go with J and R J and L I mean J and R Swoogle um J and R Swoogle offered me a, a you know a better kind of a better deal you know it's a much smaller company and um and you guys already know what happened with that so i don't need to go into detail but snyder i was going to go on there well initially i was going to go on their one flatbed account but the flatbed was wasn't you know it was already tarped so all you had to do is like it's a roll tarp or something like that i don't know if you guys ever seen them trucks that had the tarp that roll all the way back and then roll all the way to the front i was initially was going to go on that account or that division but as we as i was talking to nancy prior uh she offered the walmart account and i sort of did some more homework with uh with that account as well with snyder in itself and you know the offer of ten thousand dollars was good but the fact that i had to take the truck i mean i had to leave the truck at the uh at the dc every time i go for home time that 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 wasn't that wasn't uh that was a deal breaker for me because you know how much you know the dc was somewhere you know not close to where i live and i would have to for 34 
you know, I would have to leave the truck there for two days and then come back, you know, however, how, however I was to come back. And then I got a little bit more information that the Walmart DC that I was going to be put at it wasn't good as far as miles go. The average miles there was like 1,800 to 22. And I'm so used to doing 25 to 3,000. So, but yeah, that's that's what that's what uh, that's when I was interested in back uh, back up in July. You know, you guys already know about Snyder. Y'all seen Snyder. Y'all know Snyder. Y'all know what's up with Snyder. Uh, y'all y'all seen the orange trucks out here. Y'all y'all seen it with the orange trailers. Uh, Snyder has lots of divisions. They have flatbed. They got cross country. They got cross borders. They go into Canada. They got uh, intermodal. They got tanker. They got uh, flatbed. They got a temperature control division. They got a lot of divisions. They got over the road, dedicated. They got regional. And they got this new one called jet setting um i'll go into details with that during the call but yeah they got a lot of divisions out here for you guys to choose from and to let you know snyder is a starter company so you know if you're a new driver coming out of school and uh want to go with a want to go with a good comp or you know a starter good company starter Snyder is a starter company. Now, I'm not sure if they, no, I don't believe that they do uh, offer uh, CDL schooling to get your CDLs to drive for them. I'm not sure. And unfortunately, I didn't ask about, about that. I, I should have asked. That's going to be my next question. See, every time I come up with some questions in my head for my video series, I write them down and then I proceed to ask the next uh, carrier that I call, you know, about the question. So the next carrier that I call, I'll definitely make sure to ask them if they offer CDL school. So remind me of that. All right. So let's go. Let's do it. Everybody, let's call. Snyder National. Let's see what they're talking about. Well, I already know what they're talking about because I already talked to her. But uh, you guys want to know what they're talking about. So let's go. Snyder National. Let's get into the video. Let's do this. So with Snyder, when you first call him up to talk to him about a potential uh, job perspective with him, um, you're going to get hooked up with a phone screener type person. And basically what that person does is they just go over the application to make sure that your background is all right and to see what type of, of trucking job that you're interested in. Then after that, after you get, you know, go through that, then they'll set you up with a phone interview. Uh, with a recruiter so within that fall interview with the recruiter is where you pretty much ask the recruiter questions with that said uh we'll wait for the recruiter to call me back i believe her name is nancy i have talked to her before uh, but i want to talk to her again and get some more information Stay tuned. Hello? Hello, is LaShawn there? Good to see. Hi, this is Nancy calling from Schneider Recruiting. I received a message from you. 
Yeah, Nancy, how you doing? I'm fine, how are you? I'm doing alright, I'm doing alright. Okay, what questions did you have? Alright, so as far as as far as the equipment goes, the uh you, you told me about the equipment. Um but do you guys have more than uh freight liners? Uh, we have a few different kinds. We have the majority the, the majority of freight liners. Mm-hmm. All right. Cascadia freight, All right. freight liners. What are the other models that you have? I mean, that's what you would be driving. You would, the ones that you would need to worry about would be that. They don't, the other ones wouldn't be pertaining to you. Okay. To the north, the, you know, we have different, maybe some more operators or some things like that, um, different divisions, but you no, know, it would be a Cascadia freight liner. All right, <laughs> the, the trucks themselves, uh, do they have a refrigerator? No, you would have to supply that yourself. The, does it come with an APU? Mm-hmm. You, but you, like I said, you'd be, you'd have to, anything you'd want in there, you would have to do. Um, let me just see here. All right, so in other I mean, those are more operational things, but... Well, yeah, an AP, uh, uh, APU is, is... No, I, I understand what that is. Yeah. I'm just saying that generally, um, questions along those lines, I mean, yeah, they're kind of vague on my end. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, let me just take a look here. I know I have some information. Can you hold for one moment, please? All right. Thank you. with about 2,000 hour service intervals, but right now I do not think we have that. Um, we have 1,800 watt inverters um, and automatic, you know, some automated transmissions, um, getting forward facing cameras in the new trucks. Um, we have collision uh, migration systems. Um, so uh, they have, you know, trailer tracking technology, um, a tire inflation system for um, some of the newer trucks, but right now, I mean, everything is kind of in some transitioning. With so you guys decided to go with forward-facing, uh, forward-facing and outward-facing cameras now? Yeah, nothing. Yes, nothing inside the truck. We won't do that. But outside the truck, just for you know accidents and things like that. So you wouldn't have to go running and getting your own cameras. You know, we have a an Eaton 18, 1800 watt. Um, inverter. What is your home time policy? It, it all depends. Depends on what different. There's different uh, accounts, different positions. It could go anywhere from local to you know out two to three weeks to you know home weekly. It's all about the position itself. So there's we have you know hundreds and hundreds of positions. So that's all going to vary depending on what the account needs that their person applies for or what's available. Do you provide layover pay and detention pay? And if so, what, uh, what are they? Once again, that's going to be dependent on what the position is. So unless, you know, you want me to look at a particular account, LaShawn, or you, you, your friend wants to apply, I can't, you know, it's all going to be different. Everything is based on the position. So some positions may be a salary where there wouldn't be any kind of layover. Some positions, um, you know, it, it just all really depends on the area that you're in, the position that you're interested in, you know, the, the division that you're in. It, it's, it's all going to make a difference uh, it, as to what you're doing. I, I wish it, I, I don't mean to be so vague, but without, without true, you know, a true position that you're looking at, I it, everything that about a job is going to vary. All right, so I can tell you, you get paid every Friday into a direct deposit account. And what what are the what are the positions that's available? Drive it depends on where you live. I mean, and, and okay, so we have hundreds of positions. Have you gone oh, on Schneider.com? Oh, because Ohio, Ohio. What the zip code then? Four four one zero eight. 
I mean, we have regional home weekly. We have regional tanker home weekly. We have team positions. We have uh, over the road positions. We have over the road tanker positions. We have a national dedicated position, which means you help out on all the different uh, dedicated accounts where typically you can be out anywhere from two weeks to indefinite, depending on how you know how you want to work it. Um, we have a dedicated international paper, which is Home Weekly. So we this have. Is, um, this is, I mean, this, this, this is all. Out, this is all out of Ohio at the at the zip code that yep. I just gave you, right? We have a Dollar Tree account. We have a regional where it's no New York City, but you're out for two weeks. We have um, an independent container line position. Um, we have a jet setting position um, right. where you're flying out for well, three weeks at a time, five days home and two days off. Like I said, that's why I, I, if, if we really need to have an application from the person and look at what they're looking for. What is the jet set position and what it all entails? Then we fly you to a destination where you pick up a truck. So if this would be a team position for this particular one, we fly you to Indianapolis. You pick up a truck. Um, you're gone for three weeks at a time, but we pay for the flight and we pay for you know the lug one luggage, one piece of luggage. You drive for three weeks. We send you back home. You have a full five days off plus two travel days. Um, and that one you'd be based out of Indianapolis. If I'm going to be out for three weeks, why is that a team position? That's what that particular position is. Um, we, like I said, we have a lot of different positions depending on where you live, and that happens to be one that is the team position. What's the C What's the CPM on that? Let me take a look here. on what kind, how much experience, so how much experience. So you need to get paid according to the experience. So, and what you do is you, you don't split the pay, you're each paid separately, but you split the miles driven. So let's take a look. Um, also there's a $10,000 sign-on bonus per team, so that would be a $5,000 sign-on bonus per person. And let's just take a look at what the pay would be, hold on. Also, like said, so many things make a difference on this. The teams actually get the newer trucks. They're the kind of the elite trucks, and um, you would it's still a, a Cascadia Freightliner, but you, um, you know, they're newer and they're automatic. Um, you get about five to six thousand miles per team, and like I said, you split the miles, not the pay. So I'm just trying to get to the pay here. It just takes a second. A few moments later. And then what you need to do is, is you know, have, you know, the, the other person apply if they're interested, and then we schedule an interview. Because um, all day long, we just, we, we do these interviews. Um, so it, let me just take a look here. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting, and they had to hire a new... And then we start orientation every Monday. Um, this particular, you'd be, like I said, we'd fly you to Indianapolis. You would come in at 48 cents a mile with a two cent quarterly bonus. The person if they have a six months would be 45 cents per mile, okay? What type of benefits do uh, do you guys offer? We have medical, dental, vision, um, they're all there. Do you get, do you, mm -hmm. do you offer holiday pay and vacation? No, we do not. We, vacation, you get a week um, after a year and then I believe two weeks after two. Um, I have those all listed on here too. I got a few more questions, so. I will try. Um, I will do have another interview coming up. I, 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 I try to answer those, I, I'm, LaShawn. I'm, 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 picking, I'm picking it up. When you take your home time, when you go home for home time, are you able mm -hmm. to take the trucks home? And once again, it depends on the position. So if you were doing the team position, that the, the jet setting one, no. Because we're, that's why we're flying you back and forth. All right, I did read somewhere in the position that I was interested in. I believe it was the Walmart. Uh, mm -hmm. It did say it did say something on there that I couldn't take the truck home. Yeah, a Walmart account, you are not allowed to take the trucks home. So, like I said, all the 
It all depends on the positions themselves. Um, there are some that allow you to with the parking agreement. There are some that, you know, very strict, like a tank or a Walmart, not allowed to. Um, or if it's a jet sitting one, because we're flying you to the position. So, you know, like I said, there's no answer that's the same pretty much with every single job. My uh, last few questions. Um, sure. Is, uh, what's your policy on felons? On what? Um, it depends on how long ago the, 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 it was. Depends. You can't be on probation anymore unless you have something from a probation officer saying that it's okay for you to go indefinitely from you know, different states to different right. states. Um, but they look at how it's you know, related to the position, how long ago it was, um, you know, if there's patterns, etc. A drug conviction, you know, it would have to be five years, um, but that's you know, it just depends. Once again, what it was, and you know, and you know, what if, if it happened again, or if they're still on parole or probation, or you know, just we just have to look at the whole big picture. We try to qualify you, not disqualify you. Our goal is not to put you on the stand and and and, and you know, chastise anything or judge anything that's happened. We just want to make sure that, for instance. Let's say um, there's a Canada thing. Well, if you're a team, I would put you a person, if, if everything else is fine, you know, we'd put you on a no Canada list so that you wouldn't have to deal with that, you know. Okay. But we have to know. Otherwise, if you go into Canada and it's one of their things, like, that's just not, they don't let in, you know, we, we don't want to have, you know, the load sitting there. So right. there's a lot of different things that, you know, like I said, we're trying to qualify, not to qualify you. And I did go to like one of the one of the videos, and I've seen how the uh, orientation is mm -hmm. taking is taking place. Is the orientation differs from from a new driver that's coming in out of school versus a driver that's coming in uh, experience? Yep. It does. Um, a new driver or somebody with three or less months of experience would have to go through a more in depth train orientation, and then. Um, Experienced drivers, depending on what position you're in, um, let's say like a dedicated or dry van, you know, the team thing with the dry van, that would be four days. Let's say you're going into something like intermodal, that would be five days. Let's say you're going into tanker, um, an experienced driver would go 11 days, where an inexperienced driver would be going almost a month. So, it, it, you know, it, it just, once again, it, it varies depending on the, the position and what the account needs are. What's the speed the uh, trucks are governed at? Um, 62. All right, and I know you told me something about rider, uh, rider policy or pet policy. Do you still, guys, still offer that? There is a no pet policy, and the rider policy is, um, you know, of course, if you're teaming, you wouldn't be able to have somebody, but if you wanted a rider, um, 10 or older for an immediate family member, an 18 or older for non, unless it's in tanker, and tanker then would be um, 18 or older. All right, Nancy. Well, thanks a lot, man. I'll go ahead and uh, pass this on. Thank you for sure. I appreciate right. it, Nancy. Sorry it was so vague, but there's so many different opportunities that it's all different, okay? Right, right. I understand. Thank you very much, though. I appreciate it. Thank you. It. All right, now. You, bet. you take care. You too. Bye-bye. All right. So, guys, uh, that was Snyder National. Uh, the recruiter name, her name is uh, Nancy, so I'll, I'll make sure that I have uh, all the information that you guys uh, need in the, uh, in the uh, description below. The information that she just gave, you know, like I said, it's, it's a little vague for the most part because of, like she said, of everything that they have, have to offer. You know, and they, they do have a lot. And like I said, the, the main thing uh, is it's that they pretty much want you you to know what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? You, you want to come in drive-in. You want to come in flatbed. You want to come in intermodal, teams, dedicated. But some of you out there, you know, just now getting into the field, Y'all don't know what y'all want to do. You see what I'm saying? And that's what this series, you know, is for. It's to give you an idea of what you want to do. 
you know, because you you got all of the you. I'm serious. You you got all of this uh, opportunities or options that that they're offering you, and you you sitting there like, man, you just hit me with everything. And then each one of these, each one of these uh, opportunities, they pay different. All right, guys. Well, that's it. Uh, thanks for joining me on that. Uh, next week, we'll, we will have a, another conversation with another trucking company. And uh, and uh, thanks a lot. If you guys like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And definitely subscribe and share the video. Guys, take care. Talk to y'all later. Peace.